in your life as a whole, not even just the last 12 years, the single most fucked up moment, the thing that changed you and defined you forever. Take your time. The most fucked up thing that's changed me forever. Yeah, that defined you, defined who you are today, the Roscoe, because um, I've known you mm -hmm. for a long time. The Roscoe that i seen in middle school wasn't the same as high school. The Roscoe in high school wasn't the same as college, so right. on and so forth. So what moment, what what was the transitions during the moments? And you can give the single most important, or you can give the transition from, from middle school to high school to college to now. Okay. Well... The, I give the most one that stand out the most to me that I feel like affected me the most. Uh, it was basically a little bit out of college. You know, I was in a relationship with somebody I thought I loved dearly, right? Or I thought they loved me. or I just felt like we had a great-ass relationship. Like, it was one of the best relationships I had been in from that point. I only been in, like, two or three up until, until then. But <sighs> to make a long story, you know, short, she got pregnant. I found out the baby wasn't mine. In that moment, I was so emotional. I didn't know. I didn't know what to think during that during those times. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I felt even lost. So I didn't. I didn't know whether to stay. Leave. I didn't have nobody in my corner for real to like give me no, no good advice. You know what I'm saying? Like just being a 22 year old, 23 year old dealing with that, it was rough and it it made me hit rock bottom when I found out my baby was my baby. You know, and at that point I knew I had to because I only got there to that place because I was being a people pleaser. You know what I'm saying? I only got to that place because. I didn't love myself like I should. It was it was things I seen that led up to that moment that I should have just went on dissing myself. I didn't because I didn't love myself. Um. Uh, well, first I want you to put your mic this way, just leaning towards you right there. Yeah. But is it safe to say that? Or my question is: Is it is it safe to say that? Um. That is the the source or the root of your nonchalant behavior, or is it something prior to that that led to that? Well, because and the reason why I'm, you always ask me or you always tell me mm -hmm. the reason why you don't show your emotion because if you do show your emotion, uh, it's it's gonna be crazy. Shit gonna get real, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, so uh, my nonchalant is a defense mechanism. If I allow myself to so sometimes like. I talk about this with you all the time. Like, I had it take me like I had to process shit for like two to three weeks. I can't deal with that shit right then because I have so many. I be on an emotional roller coaster, like just trying to, you know, receive all this and trying to process all this. Like, I just be on an emotional roller coaster, not really knowing, you know, what the hell I want to do. But so it, that's why it takes me long, so long to pro process it, and that's that is, you know. Uh, part of my nonchalantness 